Amid a high-powered offense, a rock-solid defense, and a lockdown bullpen, the UCLA starting pitching staff has been the forefront of the Bruins' early season success. We really like our pitching. We, we said since day one, we really like our starting pitching. They'll come right at you. A lot of good arms. Uh, we have some left-handed, some right-handed. Uh, so we got some versatility. We like our depth. Um, we feel like we're competitive in every game, and that's all you can ask out of a pitching staff. They're competitive. They work hard, and uh, their numbers speak for themselves. Cole's your, your power guy. I mean, he has the fastball. And gets up there to close to 100 miles per hour. He goes right after guys. He's a competitive guy, a warrior on the mound. Trevor, he, he can get it up there, but he has bunch of different pitches he can throw whenever he wants. Rob has the, the nasty uh, breaking stuff that he can he could spot it up and then he could put it in the dirt and put you away. And Garrett Claypool could just spot up any pitch he wants, anywhere inside, outside, uh, high, low. They don't get much better than Cole, Trevor, Rob, and uh, Garrett. After a subpar 2009 season, the team as a whole set out to develop a more tight-knit bond one that began off the field and has certainly translated onto it. As a team, we're a lot closer than we were last year, and as a staff, I think everyone's a lot closer. There's a lot of information being shared, whether it be about pitching or about hitters. It really seems like it's, it's a team, but also a friendship and, and a brotherhood. The staff is, we're, we're, we're pretty tight, we're pretty, pretty good group. We hang out a lot, um, you know. We're not, you know, completely separate from the whole team as as a pitching staff, but you know, there's a there's definitely a special bond between all of us. We're all confident in each other from top to bottom, and watching each other pitch, it's just it's a lot of fun to see each other succeed, and we want we want ourselves to succeed, and we want each other to succeed, and it's kind of cool that we're doing that right now. While there is a strong sense of camaraderie, there is also an equal, if not stronger, sense of competition, which has ultimately produced better results. In the fall, there's a lot of competition between everybody on the staff to start, and I think that the guys that are starting now know that if they don't perform to the level they're capable of, um, you know, they'll, they, we got other guys that can step in and take their job. I think all of us are basically capable of throwing on the weekends. Um, you know, Claypool is just as good as any of the guys on the weekends, and 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 any of us are just as good as Claypool and. And Raz and, and Bauer and, and and so we're all interchangeable. So we all try and outdo each other. It does help you put forth your best effort, and uh, I would say it translates even into practice too. You know, you see them doing um, doing their thing, and, and you want to keep it up. And I think that you know I speak for the rest of the staff when I say that everyone is you know constantly competing with each other and practicing in the game. In Westwood, California, I'm Josh Hoffman of Palestra.net for ESPNU.